Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, good evening everyone. Welcome to see you. What does see you mean, Eva? Okay, cool. Our house is Dua Lipa. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if you guys take it serious, it's very okay for me. You seem a lot energetic today. Yes, you can say that because I'm excited to interview our guest for today here on the show. Oh, that's amazing to hear. So, can you introduce them first so our audience can know who they are? My pleasure. They are, today well known, our expert. Wow, that's really wonderful. Yes, of course. With the help of our guests, we will discuss everything from knowledge about art in Indonesia and abroad, and also about their interesting literature. Today, we have Pauli Picasso, an art expert who studied art at Stanford University, okay. and Indra Hubo, an elite. A literature expert who studied in era literature history at Harvard University. Okay. Well, today we will be hearing what our brilliant guest again. Welcome to C C U. Please take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, Mr. Fauzi and Mr. Indra. Good afternoon, Mr. How are you, both of you? It's very happy to attend our studio today. I'm fine, thanks. It's an honor for me to be in the CCU studio. Thank you for saying. Well, maybe I would like to ask our guest here who will share knowledge. And can you explain the general meaning of art? Well, and what is art actually? Okay, actually, uh, art is a diverse range of human activity and resulting product that involves creativity or imaginative talent, expressive or technical proficiency. Beauty, emotional power, or perceptual idea. There is no general agreed definition of what constitutes art, and its interpretation has varied greatly throughout history and across culture. The three classical branches of visual art are painting, sculpture, and architecture. Theater, dance, and other performing arts, as well as literature, music. Film and other media such as interactive media are included in a broader definition of the art. Okay. Until the 17th century, art referred to any skill or mastery and was not differentiated from craft or science. In modern usage, after the 17th century, uh, where aesthetic considerations are paramount. The fine art are separated and distinguished from acquired skills in general, such as the decor decorative or applied art. Wow, very good explanation, thank you. Me. And then, what about art itself in Indonesia? Okay, uh, let me tell you about what art itself in Indonesia. Uh, Indonesia art long have great international museum exhibition. Standing on the with their beauty, uniqueness, and complexity. Currently, as Indonesian artists produce ingenious work with extraordinary standard of excellency, international institutions and collectors avidly uh, seek them out 
Today, Indonesia exhibit their art and art and gallery sorry, yeah. in Paris, New York, London, Tokyo, Sydney, and Cosmopolitan Center world over. What a good explanation. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Thank you. So, and now, I will ask you, Mr. Indra Fugo, can you explain what is the definition of the Toronto? Okay, uh, today I will explain about what is the definition of literature. Literature is any collection of written work, but it is also used more narrowly for writing specifically considered to be an art form, especially prose fiction, drama, and poetry. In recent centuries, the definition has expanded to include oral literature, much of which has been transcribed. Literature is a method of recording, preserving, and transmitting knowledge and entertainment, and can also have a social, psychological, spiritual, or political role. Uh, literature as an art form can also include works in various non-fiction genres, such as biography, diaries, memoir, letters, and the essay. Within its own definition, literature includes non-fictional books, articles, or other printed information on a particular object. Thank you for the great explanation. And now, I will ask what is popular literature culture? Uh, pop culture fiction is a genre of fiction where stories are written intentionally to be filled with references from other works and media. <coughs> Stories in this genre are focused solely on using popular culture references. Some works in the genre use pop culture references to elicit nostalgia amongst its customers, while other examples have the whole setting and universe themselves built upon revolves around pop culture references. Many types of modern-day homage, metafiction, satires, and parodies fall under this category. Many stories inspired by games and geek culture have also been examples. According to Albert Gary Westphal, works under this genre demands an aura of immaturity and of incompleteness with projecting no pretenses. This genre should not be confused with pop culture and non-fiction, which are researches, encyclopedias, and other academic works focused on the study of analysis of pop culture, wow. rather than the story centered on pop culture references. Can you tell? You, can you give us examples? Uh, I will give you some examples. Too. The examples are notable pop culture fiction books such as Brad Easton Ellis and American Psycho, both the book and the film, became one of the earliest examples of this genre, with its endless use of brands and criticism on business and mass journalism. And then it is Ernest Cline's Heavy Player One and on both book and film, which extensively used 1980s pop culture as its themes. Ernest Cline's Ready Player One from both book and the film, which extensively used 1980s pop culture as its themes. Oh, uh, you are pro in literature, yeah? Thank you. Yeah, uh, I will make you my group for studying <laughs> literature. He's a pro. <laughs> um, yeah, I think he is have a good uh, knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In literature. Yes. Uh, uh, thank you for the, the very good explanation. Uh, Excellent. Yeah. She's she a little bit <laughs> confused. It's okay. So, very interesting. Thank you so much for the amazing Well, Maybe we'll be right back. You may write me down in history. With your reader, three slice, you may trade me in the fairy dirt, but still, like dust, I will rise. As my season is upset you, why are you best with gloom? As I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room, just like moons and like suns, 
with a certainty of tides, just like hope's wind and hide. Still, I'll rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like tear drops, wake by my soulful cries? Does my heart in us offend you? Don't you take it awful hard? Cause I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your headfulness, but still, like air, I will rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise? Did I dance like I've got the diamonds at the meeting of my ties? Out of the hearts of history shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rude in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into a daybreak that's wonderfully clear, I rise. When in the gifts that my ancestors gave, I'm the dream and the hope of this life. I rise. I rise. I rise. Welcome back again to See You! Okay, well, maybe right now we have a very special guest, I think. Right, Dorita? Yes. Okay. Of course. Welcome, please welcome Mr. Mr. Danny. Danny. Uh, how are you, sir? I'm good, thanks. Please take it. Okay, thank you. Hello, uh, uh, very nice to meet you. Yeah, very nice to meet you too here. I hear you uh, a lot from the internet. Ah, uh, really? Yes. Okay, thank you. You found me in the internet? No, okay. sir, thank you for coming to discuss uh, art and literature with us. Mm. And Mm -hmm. And literature. Yes, of course, uh, it relates uh, so much because, you know, in Arabic term, we know here in Faculty of Adab, okay? Adab means uh, history, arts, literature, um, yeah, that is the meaning. So, arts and literature in Arabic is Adab. And that is the manner, the way. Yeah. So that is the relation uh, between arts and literature. We are in the same faculty, faculty of other, or oh, probably humanities, because uh, this is faculty of other and humanities. Human has feeling, and this feeling is expressed in many forms, like literature, like uh, music, like poetry, and visual arts. That is um, the aesthetic of human. That's why we are in faculty of Adam and humanity. Right. Mm. Well, maybe I want to ask you about the examples mm. uh, of correlation between art and literature. Okay, art and literature. First, uh, let's talk about literature. You are English literature, Mayan literature, you are studying poetry, drama, and prose. Uh, in poetry, you know, you have to create an aesthetic language. Create means there is uh, nothing here, and then you express uh, your uh, ideas in poetry, then you have to read. There is arts, because uh, the one who can feel the arts is for those who uh, enjoy the aesthetic. So when uh, you are reading a poem, it means it categorized into arts, because uh, from nothing. 
And then uh, music. There is uh, the creation. Probably in the first time you don't know what is uh, A minor, C minor, but now you know C and then the chord of A, A, A minor. That is art. When we hear music, you will feel enjoy. That is art. So um, when someone uh, read a poem and then the, the reading is with intonation and the intonation is accompanied by melody like guitar probably this is the first that song is from poem okay, reading a poem with intonation accompanied by music that is the correlation that's why we know music here Reading a poem, we have a music, we know a song. Oh, oh we know a song. That's uh, the Korean, and that is the history. That, that is the Korean. Okay, uh, uh, can I ask you the name? Of course. Well, sharing knowledge, yeah. Because uh, I'm very interested mm -hmm. uh, with Mr. Denny uh, as a speaker here. Mm -hmm. No, so. In your view, mm. uh, is art in Indonesia considered good by the world? Okay, that's a nice question. Um, yeah, actually, Indonesia has many various uh, traditional music, <coughs> traditional arts. We are very rich in that term. But you know, um, frankly speaking, when you are in English literature or you are studying culture, probably what is your next year? Uh, for being literature or culture. So your question uh, contextualized by Indonesian, frankly speaking, uh, in our culture, arts and culture is not so worthy. I mean, uh, I mean uh, in West culture, when someone skillful with music, with reading poem, uh, he is uh, culture, he focuses on culture music, uh, they have a good salary in terms oh. of money. But uh, now we are, when you ask uh, in Indonesian context, probably your parents, our parents would be uh, hesitating uh, us from English literature. What is your next step for uh, after graduating from literature? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, uh, unfortunately, in Indonesian context, being able in music, in literature, in arts, yeah, is not so uh, worthy. Yeah. Uh, I agree with your uh, explanation. Mm. Uh, the Indonesian have very a lot of artists, mm. but like I when I see in the traffic light, I see ah, yeah. uh, That's uh, right. people playing very good guitar, very good singing, mm -hmm. and but uh, why he 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 he, he, uh, he is not lucky? Yeah, yeah, he's not lucky like uh, Afghan, Ali, or uh, some someone else like that. Like that. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think um, this is natural. But now we have the modern era. The modern era uh, is the characteristic that. Someone can be famous by uh, taking cover, uh, covering the music, or uh, not only cover because cover is not create. Uh, let's uh, say that I define arts and literature because of creation. We have to create poem, we have to create create music. That is arts. But when we cover the other song, I think this is just to imitate. Okay. Probably this is okay, this is natural for those who learn, but next time uh, they have to create. Mm -hmm. Now the characteristic of the modern era, someone can be famous because of skill. Mm -hmm. You know, like Ali Bata. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because of skill. Okay, uh, he has a skillful editor, uh, yeah, famous, and from YouTube, uh, he can obtain money. So, uh, when you see him, um, uh, this is not lucky. Probably, uh, you as president, uh, you can uh, rise up 
you can uh, socialize what you do, you can uh, teach him how to capture the video if he or she has the skill. Yeah. So probably the problem is in skill. If he or she is skillful, I think we have to rise up to promote that uh, he or she deserves to get money from the skill. Uh, I will say like that because I see in social media mm -hmm. and I look at the viral video. Yeah. Uh, the viral video is uh, the, the the player. The, no, no. Uh, the uh, the content is mm -hmm. uh, like not a uh, talented, not talented person, no, like player. like. Uh, when you want to viral, you do a dance thing, like why? Why the uh, uh, talented person not go viral like the person who has a new facility like that? Yeah, um, yeah. This is uh, the fact that uh, the big ideas where this is viral and uh, he or she is very famous. But I think this is not a good example for us because you are a student in university level. You have to think the good one. You have to think the better one. You have to think the beneficial uh, aspect uh, for being viral. So talented or skillful person uh, deserve for uh, the uh, the positive effect, the significant effect. You, you cannot make the uh, bad example for being viral. Mm. Okay, thank you. Mm. Uh, that's uh, all for me to uh, ask Mr. Uh, I've been waiting, actually I've been waiting uh, for so long to ask Mr. Okay. The, that question. Mm. Uh, 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 that's oh, maybe. maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think you have a question too to Mr. Lady. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I have several questions here. Okay. Uh, Mr. Lady, so, uh, uh, one of them is being like, in your opinion, mm -hmm. like, what are the general characteristics, characteristics mm -hmm. of literary works in the 70s and the literary works of today? Okay, um, in our subject we have um, public, I don't know whether this is the first to you in the fifth semester, but uh, public is popular literature and you know today we have digital literature because probably uh, in the past uh, literature means that you have to read in terms of text here, the paper, but now when you are reading uh, WhatsApp, reading Twitter, you are reading, but the reading material is different. Probably we have the subject of reading, um, reading for general communication, uh, and then uh, what is critical reading or something. Uh, yeah. But now we have uh, the text, but this is digital. Sometimes that is the text, but sometimes disappears. And also internet. You are googling, you are searching the material, and then you read in the uh, in the laptop or in your personal computer. But that is uh, the difference between uh, the literature in the past and literature for today. This is digital literature. Probably in other English literature, the subject would be digital literature. <laughs> yeah. Good enough. Yeah, good enough. Certainly, uh, mm -hmm. I would like to add to that question. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, do you think uh, that uh, from the um, uh, from your explanation, mm -hmm. you that you said that from, we are moving from paper yeah, to paper. digital? Mm, paper to paperless. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> how do you think? Does does it add up? Like. Is it like uh, brings towards a positive or negative? 
Yeah, um, talking about negative and positive effect, uh, I think every aspect in our life would be having a positive and negative effect. But life must go on, ladies and gentlemen, life must go on. And today, our is paperless, so we have to adapt. You know, in our campus Merdeka, uh, we have to learn. Uh, English literature, you have to take about uh, 20, 20 semesters outside of our classroom, outside of our department, that your life would be beneficial when you study other subjects as well. For example, camera, and then how to edit the video, how to edit pictures, how to make the storyboards, I think this is very beneficial for us to study not only English literature but also the other subject that is related to digital era. I think that is the beneficial one. We have to adapt. This is not about negative or positive effect, but we have to adapt to today's era. That is fair. Okay. Mr. Yuta, can I? Like, uh, you know that uh, we uh, now we will be using a digital uh, paper like in the course. Uh, many people uh, think that uh, the person always using porn is, uh, is a negative uh, person, habit. negative habit. Yeah, like when uh, someone sees someone is. Uh, have a phone uh, all, all the time, like she, eh, she or he is mm. never learned. But when someone see person uh, bring the books to everyone, have them everywhere, uh, the person that she, the 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 bring the the person who bring book is bring that he is a smart person like that. But, uh, Okay. Yeah, I, I understand your reason. Okay, um, you know, porn today is not only for communication. Okay, banking is uh, in our phone, okay? When you are ordering food in your phone, and then uh, if we need uh, like, uh, what else? Yeah, assignments also in your phone, you need to in your phone. So porn has transformed the function not only phone, but the name is phone, but the function is not only phone, but uh, this is multimedia, multimedia. So I think the solution is we can hybridize, hybridize, yeah. Um, sometimes we need uh, paper, but uh, oftentimes we need paperless. Yeah, not only phone and phone and phone, because there is a uh, bad radiation for your eyes, for your body. So when you can do your uh, paper, like reading book, reading book, I think that's okay. But uh, you cannot uh, leave the phone or the paperless because uh, today the book also transformed to be digital in PDF. So everyone can obtain the book easily from the internet. Yeah. If it dies, I think the solution. Because, uh, uh, because when I read a book in the phone, mm -hmm. like, books, I feel uh, there is no what is it called? No, like uh, you will be tired as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your your eyes will be tired. Your eyes will be tired. I think a uh, reading book would be better if you uh, take from library the online book uh, because. You know, um, the paper is creative uh, to be good in reading. You know, porn has the light and this is not good for you. But uh, paper, you know, paper paper is good. So the eyes. Or, um, you know, uh, there is a gadget, a PDF reader, or you know, I don't mention the name. But the gadget for reading. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah, gadget for reading. So there are many PDF. So the light is uh, enough. I don't know whether this is uh, in monochrome. Uh, this is uh, for reading. Because a phone is not for reading. Sometimes I 
uh, read it from uh, Poland, but I'm also uh, uh, too tired to bring a book because it's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> We have this more, more, more compassive or less simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Very interesting mm -hmm. the discussion. Yeah? Okay. We will conclude that based on expert opinion, it can be concluded that literature is a work of art that contains the expression of human practice, idea as of mind, and language media, both spoken and written. And included in the literary uh, arts popular types of literary works, complete and explanation poetry. Poetry is a type of the literature whose forms are carefully selected and arranged. There is poetry, novel, and poetry. Well, uh, maybe okay. Okay, we will close the meeting. In Thank you for the present of uh, the guests. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the great knowledge and okay. yeah, very uh, fun. Very fun. Very valuable uh, yeah. yeah. I have a uh, new new knowledge and new okay. insight. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, see you on the next episode of C C. <laughs>